We now know that GTA 6 will be set in the state of Leonida, which encompasses Vice City and beyond. In a Newswire post, published just after the trailer, Rockstar describes the area as the biggest, most immersive evolution of the Grand Theft Auto series yet. We see a fair few shots of Vice City in the debut trailer, but it's still unclear whether other areas will be included at launch. A Bloomberg report published in 2022 claims that GTA SXS map was much bigger to begin with, encompassing areas based on both North and South America. This was apparently cut back during development, with Rockstar Games shifting and narrowing its focus to Vice City and the surrounding areas. These are likely the swamps and bridges we see in the trailer, based loosely on the Florida Keys. While this smaller launch map may sound disappointing at first, it's worth digging into other parts of the aforementioned report. Specifically, the fact that GTA XS map may not remain static post-launch. Apparently, Rockstar plans to update the map with more cities and interior locations after release, mainly to give developers more breathing room and to cut down on overtime while GTA 6 is being worked on. According to Bloomberg, there will be new missions and new map areas added on a regular basis. According to the leaked gameplay that popped up online early in 2023, GTA 6 could feature two playable protagonists. This is backed up by what's shown in the trailer, with Lucia and her partner, currently unnamed, shown pulling off robberies together. In terms of the story, GTA 6 looks set to follow the couple as they attempt to pull off a big score. Aside from that, we know that it'll take place in and around Vice City, and that Lucia has been incarcerated at one point or another. We'll need to wait to hear more on whether GTA 6 will indeed allow players to control Lucia and her partner, but for now, we know a lot more about Lucia than the unnamed man shown in the trailer. Given that they both feature on the game's main title card, it's a good bet that there are indeed two playable characters. Rockstar Games formally confirmed that the GTA 6 leak that occurred in September 2022 was real. Releasing a statement via Twitter, the team advised this included a early development footage for the next Grand Theft Auto. While they didn't comment on particular details spotted in the leak, the team said it's extremely disappointed to have any details of our next game shared this way. Crucially, Rockstar's statement advised that the leak shouldn't cause any delays, stating that we do not anticipate any disruption to our live game services nor any long-term effect on the development of our ongoing projects. Promising an official update to this next game when it is ready. Interestingly, Take Two, the Rockstar owner, continues to imply GTA 6 is out by March 2025 while saying nothing about it. So far, it has been confirmed that GTA 6 will be coming to PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S when it arrives. The news came by way of an official press release from Take Two, which states that GTA 6 is coming to PlayStation 5 computer entertainment systems and Xbox Series XS games and entertainment systems in 2025. Will GTA 6 be on PS4 and Xbox One? As revealed in the official press release, GTA 6 is currently only slated to arrive on the PS5 and Xbox Series X and won't be coming to PS4 or Xbox One when it launches in 2025, making it a current-gen exclusive.